Court strikes out suit seeking to compel INEC to allow the use of temporary voter cards or voter identification numbers on election day. And Nigeria has again scored 24 out of 100 points while ranking 150 among 180 countries on the 2022 Corruption Perception Index. This is Plus Politics and I'm Mary Anna Kong. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja yesterday struck out a suit seeking to compel the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to allow registered voters unable to collect their permanent voters' cards, uh, that's PVCs, before the deadline to participate in the forthcoming elections using their temporary voter card or the voter identification number. The court, in a judgment delivered by Justice Bintang Yako, struck out the suit on the premise that the deadline INEC gave for the collection of PVC across the Federation has not elapsed, adding that it would amount to an academic exercise for the court to issue the order, when INEC, in furtherance of its own decision to only allow those with PVCs participate in the impending election, extend the deadline for collection of voters' card. Well, joining us to discuss this uh, further is Emmanuel Umoran. He's a legal practitioner and Dr. Obinna uh, Chuku. Uh, he's also a legal practitioner. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Good evening, Barista Obinna. Uh, I think you need to unmute yourself so we can hear you clearly. Barista Obinna, can you speak now? Let's see if we can hear you. Yeah, we ah. better now. Great, we can hear you now. Happy New Year. Same to you. Great. Longest time. <laughs> Great. Let me start with you, um, um, Barca Emmanuel. Um, it's interesting that this suit was, you know, even put in place in the first place. Why would anybody go to court to ask for VINs or temporary voters cards to be used when INEC has been pressed upon to extend the voters cards uh, PVC collection and it's still on as we speak. Um, I mean, shouldn't, that, shouldn't the court have not even allowed this to even go to in front of any justice? Well, uh, the registry of the court cannot determine an action. Uh -huh. It is the court itself. You see, it's unfortunate our colleagues are messing up our system. Uh, there's a principle of unripeness in law, which a lot of uh, people do not know. The principle of ripeness is that an action is not ripe. Not that the court will not have jurisdiction, but an action, it, until the action is ripe, mm -hmm. that's when the court can have jurisdiction. You see, there are clearly three arms of government in Nigeria. The executive, the legislative, and the judiciary. Now, the the the, law, the the development the the presidential system of government in America, which is what we have copied, the three arms of government system, protects each branch, actually the executive branch. It gives it exclusive powers to do what it ought to do, mm -hmm. what has been given to it by the constitution to do. It is when it has not done it that the court can have jurisdiction, or if it has concluded mm -hmm. and somebody feels um, uh, aggrieved, that's when the court can have jurisdiction. And recently, the Supreme Court affirmed this principle of unripeness in the case of um, Edevi and uh, uh, the, the Delta State PDP contest. Uh, yeah. Where, the, where the, the, one of the main reasons why the Supreme Court decided that case and, set, uh, and uh, uh, was that the case was not, the, what Edevi took to court was not right. Hmm. That the, the, what the, in the um, Electoral Act requires is when there is a publication that is when the aggrieved persons can now approach the court not before publication mm. same year INEC has not concluded its work similar thing that unfortunately that uh, Mr. Festus Kiyamo is saying he wants to go to court to compel uh, the police or EFCC to prosecute Atiku Abubakar he knows clearly that in Ganifa Oemi and IGP Ganifa Oemi and Akilu um, the Supreme Court has clearly stated that where the executive branch has a discretionary power to do something, the court does not have jurisdiction to tell it to do it one way or the other. Mm. And Fesos Kiyamo, senior advocate of Nigeria, tried this gambit in 2006 
when he brought an appeal, he said he was going to uh, compel ESC to prosecute some state governors and all that. And people, we called on him and said, it is not possible. You see, these are the things that we are doing wrongly as, as lawyers. We are messing up the system. We are making people lose confidence in the capacity of lawyers to do things right. Hmm. That's my problem. Hmm. We, that the, the the course of action is not right, and I what I think the, the just the, the, the federal court ju judge should have done should have been to slam damages on the lawyer himself to pay. Hmm. If we start doing that, it will sanitize this. The judges are the ones that are letting these things come and go. But hmm. if you slam to, uh, five, 10 million naira damage on that lawyer, and if, if, and if he's able to pay that, he won't try such frivolities another time. <laughs> but, 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 it's that, happening in other, in other jurisdictions. It's happening yeah. in England. It's, hap it's happening in, in the US. Look, uh, Trump was made to pay, even though he brought a frivolous suit against um, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton. Hmm. He, was, he, was, he, was, he was made to pay, he, he has been fined $1 million. Hmm. He won't try it another time. Hmm. And lawyers have been sanctioned in the US there every day for what... When they bring frivolous with the Trump cases that they after the 2020 elections, a lot of lawyers are, are losing their licenses. I, I'm going to come back to you. Let's talk about the role that the judiciary will play in this election. But let me come to you, Barsa Obina. Um, it's interesting that many people, before even before this suit became headline or anything to refer to, many have wondered if INEC would allow for people who have their temporary voters cards to participate in the election, being that the VIN number is the same, stays the same until you get, you know, the, the permanent voters cards. And also knowing that there has been some bottlenecks in the whole process of picking up PVCs, um, many had already pushed for this to be done. Um, do you see INEC shifting grounds sometime in the future, knowing, you know, the situation of things that many people might still be disenfranchised after this process is shut down? Thank you. Um, before I uh, respond to that area, I want to uh, disagree with my learned brother that uh, the action wasn't right. I don't know why uh, in Nigeria we are making this mistake. What is not right for the court to make a decision, to give a final decision as to whether or not a temporary voter's card that emanated from INEC can be used to vote in an election. Whether or not the number generated by INEC as a confirmation that, uh, what, that a person or that somebody has registered, uh, registered as a voter in Nigeria. Somebody, a lawyer went to court or somebody went to court asking the court to put a finality on that. I don't think, I don't think it's, uh, that the action is not right. That's number one. Then number two, we must also election. We are already in February. Election for uh, the pres uh, presidential election by February 25 will, will, uh, will happen. And we are saying that it's not ready. Knowing fully well that in our courts, there are so many delays, so many uh, tactics may be possibly introduced by the court or by the uh, respective lawyers to delay suit. I do not think that the matter is not, uh, is not right. I think it is right. Once again, judiciary has lost an opportunity to help Nigerians. In other countries, are they carrying voters' cards? What is a conclusive evidence that you're a registered voter in a country is that you have gone through the process of registration and the system has generated a number, a code for you. That code becomes your number. Even if you don't have your voter, the, the PVC, the card with you, the, the system should be able to correspond or match your number. If the number matches, you should be allowed to vote. Judiciary, again, has also lost the opportunity to shape Nigeria. The powers that we are giving to INEC, INEC, we should not give INEC the power to become an alpha and omega, or the power to pick and choose who should vote. Voter, temporary voters card shows that it's a conclusive evidence 
that the voter has complete has concluded the registration process to be a voter in Nigeria. Secondly, other countries are begging people to come to vote election. Nigeria is still creating bottlenecks, providing hurdles that will ensure that Nigerians do not cast their votes. I do not think that that is the right thing. Judiciary has also failed again to help Nigerians to do the right thing. Then regarding the question that you asked, I think INEC, INEC, yes, uh, there are several or so many uh, innovations that this INEC has come out with. But I think that INEC should elevate or should graduate to the point where INEC, once you have number, for instance, in the bank, the BV, a BVN number that you have remains a number. Is the number. With that BVN, your account, all the accounts that you have in all the banks can be traced. It's just a number. Did they but by Sabina, I'm, sure I'm sure that you know that we also have, I'm sure that you know we have NIN, we have the, the NIN cards, the NIN. You know that we, we, yeah. have to, we have to keep giving our bio data for every time you want to get a SIM card, you want to do renew your license, that for every time you want to get an international passport, they recapture the same biometrics. So again, I want to ask quickly, and I'm not in any way trying to smack what you just said, but can we say that we're at a point where what you're saying can happen? Because it's not that we're, we're not talking about or having these conversations, but looking at what's on the ground, uh, with the technology that we've been able to put our hands on, I mean, are you sure that we, we've gotten to that point where we can say, well, we're synchronizing and harmonizing all the data, even though we still have them all scattered around? Yes, I think I may should, for me, I may should get to that level. Because the beavers, the beavers, I do not think the beavers is already there. What is the beavers looking at essentially? It's looking at your, uh, uh, from what we understand beavers to mean. It will be looking at your facials. It will be looking at your facials. That goes beyond ordinary a, a plastic card or, or a, a PVC card, as it is called. I think that we should gravitate to a point where whether or not you carry that, that uh, uh, plastic card or not, insofar as your name, your number, your code is in the system, you should be able to vote, for goodness sake. And again, I also think that the time has come when we need to harmonize all this thing. Even our ATM cards, even the, more, the cards that we use in withdrawing money from the bank, we can put all these data in one simple card and use that card for, for all these uh, 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 activities. I think that is the best. But for me, on the part of the judiciary, I think, I think that the judiciary has also... That's the problem with Nigeria. Most times, you'll find out that judiciary, yes, which we all belong, will just be aloof, will, will, uh, uh, will act as though judiciary is not part of, part of Nigeria. Okay. The first scarcity that we have, the, the judiciary or judicial workers are not insulated from it. The prices of goods or, and services that are skyrocketing, judiciary is not okay. also insulated from it. We all go to the same market. Okay. So why this aloofness? It would have been an opportunity to grill INEC. Tell us what this code means. Is it not in your system? If somebody has this number and the number is in your system, why do well, why must it be a must that you must carry a PVC card? Okay. It would have been okay. an opportunity. All right, but again, up. we have thrown away the baby and the bathwater. All right, Mr. Chukwu, thank you so much. I'm going to come back. He's, he's discrediting, he's, he's disagreeing mostly with you, saying that you agree with what the, uh, the judge did and, you know, your statements about the judiciary. He's saying this was an opportunity that was stepped over. You see, uh, we are lawyers. We speak like lawyer, as lawyers. The issue is clear. INEC has not deci decided that a... Um, Voters card collection has stopped, has moved, this is the third time, it has moved the time for collection. Now, if a man has, if, you t if I'm coming to, to you, and I've not said I won't come to you anymore, why would you ask me, come now, come now, when you know I'm coming to you? 
the business you see we need to be speaking law to nigerians the process that INEC, the law the powers are given to INEC by the by the constitution and the electoral act are that it shall provide elect a uh, uh, voters card to individuals this is temporary voters card and then there will be permanent voters card what i would have thought my letter friend would be saying is that in the, in the u.s when he, he's talking about other countries your ballot is sent to you by mailbox in england it's it, sent to you via mail well yes no in some states post, in the u.s not every part yes. of the u.s my post no you don't go you go you can if if yeah, you see you can apply for some different sta some states in the u.s are yet to agree with the voting by mail yes yes no but you see voting by bail is also you can also vote before the election date you don't need to queue yeah now in england if you go get you your, when you you you, you, you post your, uh, your 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 details at the post office they they respond to you by post so what we should be asking ourselves what has happened to night post you get the the INEC should not, will not take the responsibility of the federal government. The federal government has its own responsibilities. Which all, when we were growing up, all my jam uh, came to the, my father's PMB. My wife came to my father's PMB. We used to go, I had I have a, a box, but no cares about boxes anymore. What is Naples doing? This is. Let's let him learn, but then no, like, technology no, again. It, it, technology it, it, has it, moved away. People now no, have emails. Despite technology moving away, the countries that are moving the technology are also keeping up those those Absolutely. essentials. Absolutely. Because it, there is a record. You have a, ba a bank account in England. You must have an address where your mails will be sent to. Now, my learned friend is saying that. Uh, uh, Okay, you have the, uh, my ATM. Are you telling me that you can go to a, a, an ATM you, without with your uh, without your card and draw money despite the fact that you have BVN? You understand? These technologies have the ways they work. We should not sit down when when we do not understand things fully to to start putting all the blames on INEC. INEC has done its bit. The, what we should ask is, uh, what is the uh, education that is given? Because if you look at the way people struggle, I have gone for voter education. I did it um, uh, uh, um, two Saturdays ago. We went all around um, the mainland trying to educate people. A lot of people who came to INEC office did not know that they should go to their uh, constituents. Uh, their, their voting units. Registration units, yes. You understand? And we do not read. We do not listen. To, we just want, we just take a decision from our homes and move on. They will start complaining. We do not ask questions. These are things practically we found on the streets. So, look, it's like the blacks in the U.S. The black man will tell you, oh, I can't go and spend three hours waiting to register to vote. But if we go to and wait for another person's daughter, and wait for the, the parents to get out of there so I can go and take a teenager, you get, and, 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 and father children. This is the problem we have. We do not, we're not patient over the most important things we, we need. Voting is the most important thing we do as, as citizens of Nigeria. We will determine who rules us. But then people are saying they want to vote. I mean, the, 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 the reality is right now is that there are a lot more people who are interested in voting. And we also have new entrants into the voting, you yes. know, the register. And most of these people, not because they're not showing up to INEC office every day to get their PVCs, but they might not be ready. Some might be missing. Some doubly registered. And all of these things are happening just before the elections or some people are now realizing it and they're saying well i have the number which is the same thing on your site which shows that i am fully registered why can't i use my temporary card to but vote in the election the problem. if because the, the, the because the constitution clearly states voters card but it did not yeah. necessarily say permanent or temporary did it well the, it, it's voters card yes now if you go if with what they are doing that people are harassing people and collecting voters card or blocking people from me to get voters card those cards that can get into hands that are not do not belong to you and by the time you get there somebody comes with a, 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 a temporary voters card and another person comes with this with a, a card you get you have conflicts and that is not the business of INEC that day people start fighting so we need to give some space to INEC and you see 
let us give some slack to our courts. Our courts have done wonderfully well so far. Hmm. Yeah, there may be one or two errors that have been... Uh, They've done uh, wonderfully well, really? Yes, yes. So you far? See, the condition really? under which they work. Look, really? let me tell you. 90 you don't think they play a role in how lopsided our electoral system is? You see, it is the courts, the courts do not write laws. This is the first time that the National Assembly has, been, has called uh, specialists to come and assist them in, 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 in writing electoral laws. Until now, the National Assembly always wrote the electoral laws to suit themselves. Hmm. Until now. And that is the problem of the persons. Hmm. And they have exclusive powers to determine that. Okay? You cannot sue them when they are making laws. It's when they have done making laws. And most times, they bring it close to the election period. Yeah. Because there is this fight all the time between members of the National Assembly and the state governors. The state governors don't want some of them to come. And that's why I ask. Because we see how the electoral, our calendar is. We have elections, you know, shown a totally different one. The one in um, Ekiti is totally different. Yeah. Anambra. And, and, the and these are results. Uh, and we've seen what's happening right now, the, you know, sure. The, the reason was this. Those in previous elections where people were sworn in, and they had to drag the elections for months. And at the end, the, the, the court determined who really won. You get? These are the reasons why you have these distorted elections. And the Supreme Court has stated that this, this, the Constitution says you have four year term, tenor. So four years must be four years. Do you understand? Now, if you look at the last election in the US, they didn't, they, they, they are, there's only one state that they are still contesting. Uh, uh, in Arizona, yeah, well, all other states have, have said uh, the man the president has been sworn in. Everybody's working. It's Nigeria alone that you have this dragging. This, and unfortunately, like I said earlier, the costs are not doing one thing. They are not slamming cost, heavy cost on frivolous litigations. Hmm. We, they must start it. Okay. okay. And they must punish lawyers who bring these frivolous litigations. They must recommend them to the, the disciplinary committee of the NBA. To, to punish them. And Barstabina dis disagrees with you. But Barstabina, I know that you wanted to come in and speak on, on, on a, a couple of things that he said. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, my limit, uh, brother said we should talk law. And he talked about doctrine of rightness. Section 46 of the Constitution allows you to approach the court where your right is likely to be infringed. I do not think that the lawyer that went to court on the premise that the, the rights of uh, registered voters who were given a um, temporary voters card by INEC are most likely maybe uh, uh, derogated. I do not think that that is wrong. Then secondly, he used America as an example. In America, you don't carry voters card. Thank God he said that people sit in their houses, uh, voters, uh, ballot papers are sent to them. How did the, uh, uh, the electoral system or electoral uh, institution in America arrive at that? He's looking at their data bank, looking at what they have, the, the names and the numbers of the registered voters and their addresses. It is upon that premise that uh, ballot papers were sent to them. The world is moving is moving far. Nigeria is still in the doldrums. We should, like I said, the court lost an opportunity to help us, to help us shape our neck, to help us shape Nigerian society. If the courts refuse, the courts. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Barista. Are yes. the courts helping us? to change Nigeria, to help INEC, to help society, because that's what you're saying. The court should. Yes. And I'm wondering who the court is, because you are an officer of the court too, aren't you? Yes. The courts, I'm not saying that the courts have done badly. The courts have always done well. In most of the uh, dichotomous or um, uh, challenging periods in Nigeria, the courts, have, uh, the courts have always come out to help us bail the cat. But uh, what I'm saying is that this very particular judgment of this court was an opportunity lost, an opportunity to get INEC to rely on their database, okay. or an opportunity to get INEC to begin to use 
the codes and the numbers that are, were generated and are fixed in the voter's card. The same number that will be in your temporary voter's card generated by a system is the same number that will also appear on the permanent voter's card. I, I think you should start using those numbers. Okay. I am seeing in a foreseeable future that a time will come when Nigerians may not need to queue up to vote. Nigerians may be may sit in the precinct, in their sitting rooms or in their bedrooms and log on online and use their number, the code to vote. NBA, Nigerian Bar Association election, the last election that was held, and as in three previous or so elections, we have always voted from our houses. How did we do that? We use our our Supreme Court numbers, enroll the en the enrollment numbers. We key them in and key some other things. Okay. Your day, uh, uh, the call to bar, yeah. And immediately you log into the system and okay. you cast your vote. I, I think that I think that we're going to have a, a full, I think we're going to have a full flesh conversation about data management in this country and that and then it will set the ball rolling. Maybe I'll have to bring you two gentlemen back, gentlemen back to discuss about data management and how we can you know harmonize it. But unfortunately, time is not on our side. We have to go, um, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh, and and if if anything changes, if INEC decides decides to backpedal on the issue of TVCs and PVCs, maybe we'll have you all back in the studio. Um, well, I want to say thank you. Obina Chiku is a legal practitioner also, by Emmanuel Moran. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen. Very great, uh, inspiring conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank, thank you, my little friend. All right. Well, we'll take my a quick greetings. break. When we return, we'll be discussing Nigeria's ranking as one of the most corrupt countries in 2022. And who made us make that list? We'll get to find out after this break.